Hi. Though the most restaurants may not be terrible, a lot of the time they fall far short of our expectations. And I think there's a number of reasons why this tends to happen. Number one is when you go to a restaurant, you're not necessarily their ideal customer. Most restaurants will have an idea in mind of who they're trying to target. If you don't fit that paradigm, then there's a chance that you're gonna feel underwhelmed by the food, or the food just isn't targeted for your particular taste and preferences. So what you can do to get around this is to try and go to places where they are quite local. So you get to know the owners, get to know the staff, and soon enough, they're gonna understand your preferences, they remember your orders, and they might be able to surprise you with certain things off the menu. The thing we really don't like about restaurants nowadays is they tend to put up very off-putting signs saying things like no outside food or drink allowed. Whilst there may be a good reason for doing this, a lot of the time it sends off the wrong message. It looks very unwelcoming, hostile, and sometimes people may have particular dietary requirements which aren't even met by the restaurant, or they may simply not like any of the food or drinks served in the restaurant. This situation has actually occurred in a recent well-known fiction book, Crazy Rich Asians, where the customers were not satisfied by the quality of the croissants, so they smuggled in croissants because they liked the cafe, but they didn't like the croissants served. Another thing we've noticed at restaurants now is they tend to have very limited choices when it comes to beverages. Often the wine served will be a limited range of just the very well-known popular wines such as Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. We don't think these wines are served necessarily because they are the best wines, but only they are the most well-known. If restaurants could be just a little bit more ambitious in their wines served, customers would be a lot more impressed and would feel a lot more comfortable buying wine. Because let's face it, the markups priced on wine are often some of the most extortionate in the business. The restaurants make a lot more money from their beverage than they do their food, yet they're often using the most cheapest wines possible and charging something like a 75% markup. We think you should try and find restaurants which don't do this and are much more upfront and open about the cost of wine that they buy it at and are therefore not charging such a high markup on the restaurant price. Because let's face it, the more out more value for money something is, the more likely you are to want to buy more of it. Another thing we don't like about restaurants is they tend to give preferential treatment to well-known people or people perhaps who have a lot of money. We feel this really discriminates against people who want to try the food but don't necessarily have as much money as wealthy diners. What restaurants could do is they could try and offer discounts to younger people especially who don't really want to spend a lot of money but still want to have the restaurant experience. You should never feel bad if a restaurant gives you the cold shoulder or dismisses you or doesn't want to offer you a table based on how you look or the way you're dressed because those kind of restaurants are superficial anyway and often aren't really even serving very good food. They just have a particular buzz about them which means that these restaurants are popular at that one moment. You'll see a lot of Korean restaurants will serve chicken that comes from somewhere like Brazil. The main reason of course is that it's much cheaper to buy meat that is frozen, shipped abroad rather than grown and reared locally. I really think that you should only patronize restaurants which serve local and organic food. This may cost you more money, but it'd be much better for you, your health, and ultimately the planet. There are some real pioneering, pioneering restaurants here, a lot of them based in the US and Scandinavia. We appreciate that you may not live near these restaurants. You should certainly be aware of them because what they're doing is simply incredible. When it comes down to it, when you go to a restaurant, what you're looking for is to be blown away by the food the service needs to be exceptional. The, the experience overall should be such a great one that you'll be thinking about the restaurant long after you finish your meal and will be waiting to come back and you'll make any excuses just to go there. If a restaurant doesn't do that, if it doesn't leave such a firm impression on you, it's clearly not a very good restaurant and you need to try harder in your restaurant search. It might have been easy a few years ago when food guides such as Hardens were very easy to pick up and you would be able to easily see which restaurants were good. We don't feel that the glut of online review services like TripAdvisor, Yelp, Facebook, or Google actually really help you determine the good restaurants because a lot of those reviews can be fake. They could easily be left maliciously if somebody wanted to sabotage a restaurant. So you cannot really trust those 100%. Your best bet is to be very, very critical when you see a restaurant. Does it appear that the restaurant is popular? Does it appear that many people go there? And even just by going in for a couple of minutes, you get a sense of whether that is a restaurant which you would like to eat at. Are the tables clean? Are the staff friendly? Are the waiters efficient? Can they serve you quickly? Or do they simply turn you away saying they're full? There are so many signs of a good restaurant and you're gonna get better and better at spotting them if you follow some of the advice in this video. We really hope you found this interesting and we do think it's worth taking the trouble to find a good restaurant 
Not an average restaurant and definitely not a bad restaurant. Thank you again, guys. See you next time for another video.